Hey, how's it going guys? The Sensors Bros here, giving you another episode. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the new Call of Duty Vanguard, or lack thereof love of Call of Duty Vanguard. Just before this video does continue any further, I haven't actually bought Vanguard. I don't think it's a, a good value for money, and I also don't like the fact that on the PlayStation Store, you can only get the cross-generational bundle. Let that sink in. Are you, if you have a PlayStation 5, like I have, you can't buy the PlayStation 5 specific console edition you have to have the cross-generational bundle so that means yes you have to buy the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 version oh but that's okay though at least it's not that expensive 70 pounds and whilst we're on the subject there doesn't seem to be much love at all for the new Call of Duty Vanguard considering that there's already been reports and leaks of the new Modern Warfare 2 as you can see on the screen here they're talking about how there's going to be new Warzone maps being included such as with the release date of Modern Warfare 2 and a bunch of other bits that you know leakers normally bring out and state about but to be honest with you even though the fact that the Vanguard is meant to be released on the Friday which on the date will be the 5th of November you have to now question yourself why is it that they have no love for this game is it because no one seems to enjoy it or is it simply because no one actually cares anymore in my personal opinion since Modern Warfare which was their trump card at the time that was been the last Modern Warfare or COD game if you would that I actually really really enjoyed and it's a shame actually to kind of see a franchise that I used to really love and enjoy to play to now just completely go to waste same with the zombies multiplayer kind of aspect of things not even the single player you know story dlc it's more of the zombies as well there's just no love anymore it's just you know i'll pick a random character and hope for the best whereas beforehand you actually had a story characters that you actually cared about places to visit wonder weapons easter eggs that were really hard to solve but actually added more to the story and that's not to say that there isn't easter eggs or wonder weapons now they're just not as good as they used to be and it's really saddening actually to know that they kind of just let it go like eh, you know if, if you get it you get it if you don't you don't and it's just it, it's saddening really to know that this new Vanguard comes out for 70 pounds you can't even pick a PlayStation version whether that be the 4 or the 5 it has to be the cross generational bundle and just expect people to be like, oh yeah, I'm happy with that. No. The worst part is as well is that you don't just buy the game and that's it, you've got it. You have to nearly have an always online connection now. So even that £70 that you spent for a game doesn't necessarily mean that the game that you're going to get is a complete and finished game. Like every game that has come out recently, bar Warzone, simply because that is for free, they always make a change. Like Modern Warfare when that came out. As soon as it came out, it was a broken mess. Certain guns were overpowered, certain things were reused. You know, it was a massive issue. Now, after nearly, what, three years of the game being out? Maybe maybe even two years, if you would, of the game actually being out and existing. So yeah, we've had Modern Warfare, and now having Cold War, and now Vanguard, just shows that there's a, a really big disconnect between the actual games themselves. Especially £70 doesn't actually mean much of anything. I mean, years ago, like, you know, 40 quid for Black Ops 2, sell, easy, done. What a story, what a game. I would happily pay that money again. But £70 for what? a multiplayer that's going to change guns that are going to be changed if it's down for maintenance you know all the glitches bugs i mean it just is never ending really when you think about it but hey i mean it's up to the person themselves i mean if they've sold it enough for you to buy it hell i mean by all means you get that game if it really you know if, if you see the value and worth in it but for myself no and if you're wondering about the gameplay this is the alpha footage that I have, because I, like I said, I haven't bought the game at all. I was more than happy to play the alpha and understand that, yep, uh, this is kind of not what I want uh, to buy and be a part of. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe if it's on sale and they've got something really, really good, I might do it. But until then, I'm more than happy just to sit back and, you know, I'm not even bothered. Same with Cold War when that released. I'm, uh, I'm more than happy to sit back, play Warzone. I feel like Modern Warfare actually tried. You know, it, it really did try to be something, and it and it kind of lived up to its expectations. Albeit with a few issues here and there, but it, it did what it needed to. And the fact that Vanguard has no love, and even Treyarch themselves are basically just like, eh, you know, it, it's releasing on Friday, not many people know about it. Eh, oh, you know, never mind. I'm telling you now, they'll wait until Modern Warfare 2 releases, and they'll be all like, oh, the best COD that there is, it's a PlayStation 5 version only. You know, it, it, they'll put everything, all their effort into this one game. But as of now, Vanguard just seems like a... 
just a bit of a mistake. Kind of like, oh, you know, we'll see if this is good enough. How many people buy it? Oh, okay, cool. Well, actually, it turns out that the new, uh, you know, Modern Warfare 2 is going to be a hell of a lot better than what you've been playing. You know, that's that's kind of the atmosphere I'm getting from this. I'm not getting like a, yo, this is the best, the biggest, the hype for this game is going to be real. I'm not getting any of that, which is a shame because... You know, Call of Duty is kind of what Call of Duty is now. But on that note, I'm going to stop ranting. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give a like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully see you guys in the next one. Peace out, my boys. Peace out.